Hi VC, this is Aaron with Alamir, and today I'm counting down my top 30 records of 1970. These are my favorite 30 of uh, 1970, which I own on vinyl or, you know, one form or another. These are all vinyl. Um, great, great year of music. It's starting to get a little more heavy stuff in here, which I really love. And um, it's just killer, killer music. Every one of these records is a classic. I mean, even my number 30 is a great record. These, I mean, it's, by being in my lower part of this list doesn't mean I don't like it. I love every one of these records. So I'm going to start off number 30. This is a debut from a great progressive band, Emerson, Lake and Palmer debut record. Number 30. Of course it has the song lucky man on it. It's a really killer record all the way through. They're great musicianship on it. Killer stuff. Emerson, Lake and Palmer, number 30. At number 29. This is a great band here. This is a free with fire and water. Really good album here. Um, it's got All Right Now is the big single from it, but this is really solid all the way through. Great album. Of course, it has Paul Rogers on the vocals. He uh, later went on to sing with Bad Company, amongst others. But a uh, killer, killer record. They're very underrated. Free with uh, Fire and Water, number 29. Number 28. This is kind of a, a divisive album. Um, a lot of people love it and think it's one of this artist's best, and other people think it's it's one of his worst. I personally think it's one of his best albums. This is a Self Portrait from Bob Dylan. Really great record. A double album. It's very different for him. Um, it's got the Mighty Quinn on it and like a Rolling Stone, a lot of other stuff. Pretty cool uh, gatefold here. But uh, yeah, I like this album a lot. It's one of my one of my top five Dylan records, really probably. So there's a Self Portrait from Bob Dylan at number 28. Number 27, this band always seems to make it in here somehow. This is A Question of Balance from the Moody Blues. Really good album. And um, yeah, they have the, such killer covers. <laughs> but they're a great band. You know, all the stuff they do is good. They always take you on a voyage musically and uh, mentally when you listen to them. Killer record here. And at number 26, this is a second album from a hard rock band. And this is Blood Rock 2. Really great record by a great band. Very underrated. Uh, a lot of people don't even know these guys very well, but they're really good. And, um, yeah, great record. I really love Cheater. And, you know, every song on this is good. Lucky in the Morning, you know. Great, great album. Good all the way through. Blood Rock, number 26. At number 25, and this could be in a lot of people's top five, I think. Um, it's a great record. This is Crosby, Sills, Nash & Young um, with Deja Vu. Great record. Killer songs. You know, it's got a lot of their big singles on it. You know, uh, just good stuff. I'm a big fan of Neil Young, so I like, uh, I tend to like this a little better than their debut just because he's on it. And there's also uh, Dallas Taylor and Greg Reeves on it. But this is a classic, classic record here. Okay, number 25, no, no, number 24, I got McCartney, self-titled album. I believe he recorded this uh, kind of when he was in the Beatles without their knowledge, so he did almost all the instruments and vocals on this. I think he had his wife maybe do some background vocals, but, you know, it's got Maybe I'm Amazed on it, which is, you know, that alone puts it in this top 30. Um, Junk is on here, which is really cool. I really like this record. This is a beat up copy. Uh, luckily, I just won this uh, a, a record store day version of this in a contest, so I'll be receiving that pretty soon. That's cool. So, good record here. Number 24, uh, McCartney. And number 23, got some tea for the Tillerman from Cat Stevens. Really great record. This is probably the, his best record he did. Um, my stepdad really got me into him. He's a huge fan of this record. Um, it's got uh, Wild World on it, of course, amongst others. Um, really good stuff. Cat Stevens, T for the Tillerman, absolute classic record. That's number 23. Number 22, Derek and the Dominoes, Layla and other assorted love songs. And, you know, this is a great record, double album. Um, Dwayne Allman and Eric Clapton together, you know, they got a great band here. Um, it's got, you know, Spoon, no, not Spoonful, it's got a Bell Bottom Blues on it. Um, Layla, of course. Really good stuff. I like this album a lot. Killer stuff. Derek and the Dominoes. 
And at number 21, The Doors with Morrison Hotel. Really great record. Um, you know, all The Doors records are really good. This one here has got, you know, Roadhouse Blues, and I, love, I really love Peace Frog a lot. You know, Indian Summer. Great record. And this is kind of a unique one here. Um, I've never seen another one quite like this. It's, um, let me show you the labels here. So we got side one, Morrison Hotel, one Hard Rock Cafe, which is normal. And I've been trying to find another copy like this because the second side has a, a label for the Soft Parade. So it's a misprint on the label. The, the record plays Morrison Hotel, the second side, but it's just mislabeled. And I've looked on Discogs and eBay and a few other places trying to find another one like it. I've never seen one. So that's kind of cool. Really good record too. And then starting off my top 20, got some Joe Cocker with Mad Dogs and Englishmen. Really great record by a great artist, a great singer. You know, I'm feeling all right. I love how he does that. And give peace a chance, you know. Good, good album here. Came in, she came in through the bathroom window. He always did a bunch of covers. But this is a great record. That's my number 20. So, number uh, 19. One of my favorite bands, and this is Share the Land by the Guess Who. The first album after Randy Bachman left to form BTO. But it's still got Burton Cummings and a bunch of other great musicians. You know, it's got Bus Rider, the title song's amazing, Do You Miss Me Darling. Really good record by a great band. I love the Guess Who. Okay, number 18, we're up to uh, The Traffic with John Barleycorn Must Die. Classic record. This is a... Uh, one of their very best, if not their best. It's not my favorite, but it's right up there. You know, it's got Glad, Freedom Rider, and Empty Pages, the first side. That's just amazing. Really good. There's the tracks. John Barleycorn Must Die. Great, great record by Traffic. At number 17, this is an amazing, amazing record. Jimi Hendrix of the Band of Gypsies. Love Machine Gun. That song is so killer. But, you know, everything on this is good. It's a little different than the experience records. You know, it's it's more uh, jazzy. You got Buddy Miles on it. Really good album. Killer stuff. I mean, great musicians. Jimi Hendrix is just so good. But Band of Gypsies at number 17. Number 16, you're going to go Climbing by Mountain. Mountain Climbing. Great record here. Um, Leslie West, an amazing guitarist. This is uh, kind of proto-metal uh, before the, the true metal kicked in, but right up there with the heaviness, Mississippi Queen. Really good record. And he's an amazing, amazing guitarist, Leslie West. Killer stuff here. At number 15, and this, oh man, this could have been easily higher, but this is Willie Dixon with I Am The Blues. Great blues record by a great, great songwriter and a really good artist. Um, a lot of these songs he wrote and other people recorded, and then he went and rec recorded his versions of his own songs. But, I mean, they're just, a lot of people have done these songs over the years. Even, uh, you know, it's even got I Ain't Superstitious, Megadeth is redone, you know, Backdoor Man, uh, Spoonful, a lot of people have done Spoonful, Little Red Rooster, killer, killer stuff here, Willie Dixon. Number 14, one of my favorite artists, of course, John Lennon and the Plastic Ono, this is the Plastic Ono Band. It's got my favorite Lennon song, Working Class Hero. It's also got a Mother on this, great record. Killer, killer, killer stuff. John Lennon, great artist, of course, from the Beatles. Everyone knows that. But that's a great, great record. At number 13, this just shows how good this year is, that this album is just low for me, and I love this record. This is Led Zeppelin III. Great record. It's got a, you know, starts off with the Immigrant Song, and then it kind of mellows out and goes a little more folky. Has some really good stuff on here. Um, you know, really great record. Some people think this is their best one, you know. It's, it's up there. Um, it's not my favorite, but I can see why. Since I've Been Loving You, that's great. You know, Gallows Pull. Really good stuff. Let's up them three. And that's number 13, which is a lucky number for me. So, Okay, next up, I've got number 12. And this, oh, this is such a good album. It's a triple record. George Harrison, All Things Must Pass. Great, great stuff. It's got My Sweet Lord. You know, um, I really love um, 
What's that song? Jeep, something Jeep. I love that. <laughs> it's killer. Really uh, experimental stuff. But this is a, he had a lot of these songs written while he was in the Beatles and then um, didn't have a chance to record them with them. And so he had a great, 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 great record here. Killer stuff. All things must pass. One of the best of the Beatles solo records, if not the best. Killer. And at number 11, probably the best album by this band, even though I ranked their first album was higher on the year before. This is Abraxas from Santana. Great record. Um, Black Magic Woman, Okoma Va. I mean, killer, killer musicians. Has Greg Raleigh on it, of course. And um, was he on? Yeah, Greg Raleigh from, who uh, ended up forming Journey along with um, Neil Schoen, but Neil Schoen didn't come to the next record, but that's kind of a interesting that Journey came out of Santana. But that's a great record, number 11. So starting my top 10, and like I said, all these top 30 are classics. They're all great records. My top 10 are especially good, I mean, special to me. This is uh, Neil Young, After the Gold Rush. That's my favorite Neil Young song, After the Gold Rush is. I love it. Love Southern Man. You know, this is just a great record. Killer stuff. The great Neil Young. And I like this better than the Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. I, I just love that record. And then, at number nine, up again, is the Guess Who with American Woman. Amazing, amazing record. I mean, this has got some of their best songs. It's got the title song, which is extended on this, which I really love, where they have the, uh, the intro that's not on the uh, radio version. And No Time, No Sugar Tonight, New Mother Nature. Those are some of my favorite songs they did. Really great stuff. The Guess Who with American Woman. Number eight. It's a Black Sabbath with Paranoid. This is an amazing, amazing record. It's, uh, you know, War Pigs and Iron Man and the title song, the ones everyone knows. But my favorites on here are like Fairies Wear Boots and Hand of Doom, Electric Funeral, you know, killer, killer stuff. Rat Salad. Amazing record. Starts with metal right here. Well, here and coming up. <laughs> so number eight's Paranoid. Number seven. This album blows me away every time I hear it. This is the Stooges Funhouse. My favorite record by them. I prefer it over their debut, actually. And I like Raw Power, but this is my favorite. I love Funhouse. It's just killer. The song Dirt is my favorite Stooges song. I love that one. Uh, you know, 1970, the title song, they're all really good. You know, TVI, great, great album. Iggy Pop, very killer uh, front man. Killer album here, The Stooges with Funhouse. At number seven. Number six, got The Great Beatles with Hey Jude. Amazing, amazing record. Um, you know, it's The Beatles. Lady Madonna, Ballad of, Ballad of John and Yoko, uh, Rain, Paperback Writer. It's kind of a compilation, but it's still just so amazing. Every song, Don't Let Me Down, you know, uh, Revolution, killer album. This easily could have been my number one, but I've got some more I like just a little bit better. Beatles with Hey Jude at number six. Number five, Cosmos Factory, my favorite CCR record. And that's kind of crazy because I've had them at number two in my last couple years, but this is my favorite one of them, and it only made it to number five. That's how good this year is. And, you know, this is... Uh, Amazing record, traveling band, looking out my back door, run through the jungles. One of my favorite songs they do. Um, their version of "Hurt Through the Grapevine" that's on this is over 11 minutes, and it's my favorite version of that song ever. I love it. Every song on this is good. Who will stop the rain? It's a great record. Cosmos Factory at number five. And number four, this album. Um, it's one of my favorites. That's why it's number four. Eric Blur Aaron Burton declares war. Love this record. I think it's amazing all the way through. Great, great stuff. Um, Spill the Wine, of course, uh, is a known song, but they do a version of Tobacco Road that's really killer. Roll On Kirk, I really love that. Mother Earth, it's very psychedelic at times. Just all different kinds of styles. Really killer album. Eric Burden Declares War it is my number four album of 1970. Great record. And number three. Black Sabbath debut probably the first actual heavy metal album ever made great great record um, you know 
just amazing songs. Evil Woman, I love that song. It's got The Wizard in the title song, which everyone knows. NIV is just amazing, of course. You know, amazing, amazing record. Number three, Black Sabbath. Killer, killer stuff. Number two, The Beatles with Let It Be. Their final actual studio record they did, and it's it's a great one. It's, you know, it's got some killer stuff. Across the Universe, Get Back, Long and Winding Road, you know, Let It Be, the title song's great. I Me, I Me, Mine, The Two of Us, I did, you know, just amazing all the way through. One After 909, I love that one too. For You Blue by Harrison, killer, killer record. The first time they haven't been my number one of the year. But that's not detracting anything because I love all these. And my number one from 1970, one of my favorite albums of all time, Deep Purple in Rock, especially this version. This is just an amazing, mind-blowing record. Uh, every song is killer. Uh, Speed starts out with Speed King, and on this it has the intro, the big intro that's really killer with the... Uh, it's almost like a guitar solo with then the key, then the organ can all the instruments come in and make all this uh, you know it's just amazing and blood sucker and child in time is one of my favorite songs ever and you know just every song on this is good hard love man probably the first uh you know one of the first metal songs too living wreck into the fire fly to the rat amazing record amazing band number 1 of 1970 deep purple in rock these are my favorites they're not it's not set in stone you know but typically I don't change much I if I really love something it stays where it's at and, and stuff will change over the years here or there a little bit but I don't like I'm not one of the person like a person that you know I love this album this day and then the next day I'd like another one better I usually stick to what I like I always do that but uh, this is my favorite number one deep purple in rock number two let it be by the Beatles Number three, Black Sabbath. Number four, Eric Burden Declares War. Number five, Cosmos Factory. Number six, Hey Jude. Number seven, Funhouse. Number eight, Paranoid from Black Sabbath. Number nine, American, American Woman from the Guess Who. Number ten, after the Gold Rush from Neil Young. Number 12. Uh, number 11. Oh, that was number 10. Number 11. Abraxas from Santana. Number 12. All Things Must Pass from George Harrison. Number 13. Led Zeppelin 3. Number 14. The Plastic Ono Band. Number 15. I Am the Blues from Willie Dixon. Number 16. Climbing from Mountain. Number 17, Band of Gypsies from Jimi Hendrix. Number 18, John Barleycorn Must Die from Traffic. Number 19, Share the Land from The Guess Who. Number 20, Mad Dogs and Englishmen from Joe Cocker. Number 21, Morrison Hotel from The Doors. 22 is Derek and the Dominoes. Number 23 is Teeth of the Tillerman from Cat Stevens. Number 24 is McCartney. Number 25, Deja Vu from Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Number 26, Blood Rock 2. Number 27, Question of Balance from the Moody Blues. Number 28, Self Portrait from Bob Dylan. Number 29, Fire and Water from Free. And number 30, Emerson, Lake & Palmer's debut. And, you know, I had about 20 more records I had on my list, and those are the 30 that made it. Um, the other 20 were all really good, too. So, I mean, if your favorite's not on here, it's just my favorite 30. So, all right, everybody. Um, keep on rocking, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.